Vote counting continues into an eighth day, with Turnbull's coalition expected to win two of the five seats still in doubt, enabling it to form a majority government after having already won 74 of the 150 lower house seats up for grabs in the poll. Well, I mean, it's not exactly unexpected, but I think he's actually been given a bit of a shock that, you know, it wasn't a landslide and this is not us saying you can do what you want. He has to do what the people want. Although he is expected to form a majority government, Turnbull's gamble in calling the election backfired badly with a swing to the centre-left Labour opposition and a rise in the popularity of minor parties and independents. Turnbull's narrow margin of victory over Labour leaves him likely to be forced to rely on independents who won five seats to ensure the passage of legislation. That raises questions about how effective his government will be in the long term. Well, it's a poison chalice really because his biggest problem is a hopelessly divided party and uh, the knives will be out to get him because he didn't do well enough in the election because they were expecting that he was going to have a very strong win and of course it's just a, a very narrow victory and, uh, and so uh, you just wonder how long his leadership can, can possibly last. The coalition will form majority government if they secure two more seats to reach the magic number of 76.